This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how do I use radial symmetry inside of ZBrush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a cylinder model loaded in here. And this model has been divided a few times, and then it currently has DynaMesh active, so I have no subdivisions on this model. Now, if you're used to sculpting inside of ZBrush, you've probably activated symmetry before. So if I hit X on my keyboard, it's going to activate symmetry. And this is going to allow me to come through and sculpt my model. And it's going to sculpt across that symmetrical line. So I'm able to do details on one side of the model and then I'll repeat it on the other side. Now, in addition to just this two-sided symmetry, you can activate radial symmetry on your model. To do this, just navigate up here to your transform palette. I'm just going to dock this to the side quick. And then where the Activate Symmetry button is, there is a Radial Symmetry button. So right now, if I activate Radial Symmetry here, you're going to notice I'm going to have a Radial Count of 8. This is going to determine how many counts of that Radial Symmetry I'm going to get for that axis. So right now we have the Symmetry set to X, and we have a Radial Count of 8. So if I come to my model, you're going to see that I'm going to have 8 dots, and they're going to be applied across that X axis. So then I come through and sculpt like so and you're gonna notice it's going to affect in that radial pattern. Now, if I want this radial axis to go around the cylinder, you just need to change which axis the radial effect will be applied to. So I'm gonna change this to Y and then turn off X. And now in a return to my model, you're gonna see those dots are gonna be going around the cylinder like so. So now that these dots are going around the cylinder, I can just sculpt in one area and it's gonna repeat it all the way across. So this is handy for carving out different effects on your models really quickly. So especially if you're doing any sort of columns or anything like that inside a ZBrush for environment assets, this is a very quick way to do it. Now you can increase the radial count on this as well. So let's change this to say something like 16. And this is going to increase the amount of times that radial symmetry is applied. So now I'm getting 16 variations of that sculpt around that cylindrical object here. You can use any brush with the radial sculpting as well. So if I say switch to the move brush here quick, and just get a little bit larger draw size, and start dragging out like so, you can start generating some really interesting shapes. So if I wanted to generate like a quick vase, I can come through and start generating stuff like this on the fly. And depending on how large your symmetry option is here, you can start making really interesting shapes pretty fast using this radial symmetry. Now, not only do these sculpting brushes work with radial symmetry, but also any of the insert mesh brushes and the insert mesh curve brushes. So if I navigate to my brush palette here and now say select the model kit brush and then hit M on my keyboard here. And now let's just grab one of these. So say like this latch here. Now I can come through and I can apply these insert mesh brushes in this radial fashion. And you can generate things like quick tires or all sorts of different kind of shapes really quick using the symmetry. Then I can say come back through with the clay build up brush again and make a quick wheel well here and just sculpt that out. And now I have a quick tire using that insert mesh brush and just the standard clay build up on a simple cylinder. You can also use any of the curve brushes. So I'm going to hit B on my keyboard again and I'm going to locate the curve tube brush which is right here. And now with this, I can come through and drag this out like so, and you're going to see all those curves are going to be repeated across as well. So this is really handy for making flowers and different kind of effects. So you can see how fast you can come through and just drag these shapes out and then manipulate them like so. Now since this was a curve brush as well, I can manipulate it on the fly, and you're going to see that this curve is also going to retain that radial symmetry, and it's going to be affected with it as well. So I can come through and now manipulate this curve in that radial fashion and even get more kind of interesting shapes or experiments out of it like so. So for interesting starbursts or just quick patterns, it's very quick to come through and just do this with this radial symmetry. So that is the quick breakdown of using radial symmetry inside a ZBrush. So just make sure you have symmetry active, navigate to that transform palette here, and then activate this radial symmetry option. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!